Hello Aquarius. This is your February monthly reading. Ooh, oh, devil right there. Let's see what's going on for my Aquarius friends in love for February. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Okay. Celtic Cross here for you guys. Aquarius, if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what the energy is around you guys. Let's see what your challenge is. What is challenging Aquarius this month? The underlying issue here. Past events, recent past events for you guys. Best possible outcome. What's coming in. How you're currently viewing this situation. What is your outside influence? What is Aquarius' outside influence here? And your hopes. And your fears. And the overall outcome here. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. What's around you right now? We have the Ten of Swords. A lot of you are um, just trying to put some things to bed. Uh, something that's been bothering you for a while. I feel like you guys are getting over it. Uh, I feel like it's been a struggle though, but I think you're pushing through. It's coming to a close. It's coming to an end here, guys. Okay. This is also laying down the ego because all of these swords are thoughts that um, you have felt betrayed by. Things that you feel like, you know, just brought you misery here. What's challenging you, excuse me, yeah, is, is to find your path. What do you really want to do in this situation? Okay. Finding your path, finding your calling, basically. What are you being called to do? Which direction are you being drawn to in? Okay. Let's see what was going on for you guys in the past here. King of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you were trying to be there for um, someone or either someone wanted to be there for you and maybe um, you felt like they weren't sincere or you felt like you couldn't deal with maybe how rigid they were, their expectations even. Um, because the, king, the kings and the queens of Pentacles, sometimes they can be uh, a little superficial. They have high expectations. Um, they like for people to uh, look the part even. So maybe you felt like you just could not live up to uh, a person's expectations, but you were really trying to stick it out and be there for them, okay? Let me move that in view here. Let's see how you're feeling about the situation currently. Um, a lot of you are struggling with whether or not to go on with this, whether you can go on with this. Like, you know, do you actually have the energy or or even the, um, the gumption to want to continue to be involved in this situation. I feel a lot of you, you want to go on, you want to continue with this, but you're tired. You're tired. You're tired of, of somebody's actions. You're tired, you're tired of somebody's words. You're tired, tired of the situation. I can't even say tired this morning because you're tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're tired. It's like, you know what? I just don't know about this anymore. Okay, so the issue here is the fact that you love this person. They love you. Okay, it's unmistakable. That's the issue here. And I think that's why you are struggling so because you're really trying to figure out, you know, is it me? Is it them? Is it both of us? Is there something that, you know, I just need to let go of? Maybe I need to let go of my expectations even, okay? Deciding what it is that you really want to do in this situation, okay? Now, the best outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, here we come. You guys are a couple here, all right? The best outcome is that you guys can move forward and you will see this person as your partner. You will choose them. I mean, that's, that's the best way I can put it, to be honest with you, because I feel like this really is not the issue. It's not an issue. This is a fact. 
right here. That you guys love each other. Okay? The issue is, will you choose to stick it out with this person? Work it out with this person. You guys be there for each other. Okay? Let let down the ego and, you know, the blame, playing the blame game, that kind of thing. Okay? What's coming in for you? Look at this. The Ace of Cups. If you guys are not together currently, I see you guys reuniting here, okay? For sure. That's what I see here. The outside influence is that somebody really wants to reunite here. With the temperance and three of cups, I feel like this is all about you guys getting back together, um, bringing, bringing balance and harmony back to this situation here. As above, so below. Okay? This is bringing harmony back to this situation. This is you guys really sharing this, this cup of love, not only for yourself, but for each other. Okay? Your hope is that maybe this person's not really willing to offer again. I'm, I'm, I'm getting like... You know, this person was pouring a lot of energy and a lot of emotion into this situation, but now they've kind of like taken their hands off of it and they're not asking so much anymore to reunite. Like they're ignoring um, the feelings that you guys have for each other at this point and just trying to focus on themselves. Because, you know, when, when you're trying to, when you're trying to make somebody see just how much you care about them, or that you guys should be together, it gets a little exhausting, okay? So whether this is you or the other person who is feeling like this, somebody's exhausted in this situation and feeling like, you know, they, they just need to like take their hands off of it, okay? To protect themselves. That's what this is, okay? So your hope is that I feel that this person either will offer again or accept your offer, okay? What your fear is, is that you guys will not come back together. That's your fear. This is all about reuniting for you, my queries. Yeah, you guys want to come back together. And, and you're really not certain if this person is trying to move on, if they have other options other than you. Um, yeah, okay. Your overall outcome is the Ten of Pentacles. I see you guys being together here. I see you being together here, okay? But it's up to you to decide if you can continue on with this, if you can lay down um, whatever burden that you feel like this, this connection brought to you, whatever stress you feel like this person has put on your shoulders, um, and really taking a look at yourself and seeing if you had something to contribute to this, um, or whether or not your ego was getting in the way. Your challenge here for the month is to choose where you want to go, with who you want to go with, okay? And look at this. The Queen of Pentacles is here. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you guys. Um, this is a very good reading. Um, other than the fact that you guys have broken up, looks like, with this Ten of Swords. Um, but... Everything around you says that you guys are coming back to reunite, revisit this thing, and finish it, okay? So we have Virgo energy here. We have Capricorn, Taurus even, um, Aries, Cancer, Sagittarius, Gemini energy, okay? So that's what I have for you guys, and I will be speaking with you soon.